Jazz Fogue, a little bit restless. To settle. Putting your head in the right direction. Set day sprinting away from the 1,000 meter marker. Tucker marker was slow to go. And Stylist also got to make up a bit of ground. Knight at the proms is right there. She done good. Goes off to lead them. Just Vogue is right there. Then Y Rio. Bell Rose is about five lengths off the leader with Diamond in the sky. Fortissimus is on the outside of runners trying to pass the stragglers. And behind that one there is Stylers. As they turn for home, she done good, just the leader. Knight at the prom, second, Fortissimus now moves into a challenging position. Why Rio, just Vogue, Bell Rose is down the inside, and then comes Diamond in the sky. Getting to the 300, Fortissimus, the leader. Down the inside, she done good, and Diamond in the sky is going to make a race of it. Down the inside, Knight at the proms, Fortissimus. Yes, Diamond in the sky with a big run. Fortissimus and Diamond in the sky, these are the two, but Diamond in the the sky explodes into action to win a length and a quarter. Fortissima second, night at the proms third, just vote fourth. Well, yes, diamond in the sky. The VAR, or Warren Inferno, I don't know what you were watching. This horse went down to the start looking the pick of the crop. Strode out beautifully on the way to the gate. She comes back exactly the same way and she wins up easing at 340. Second goes to Fortissimus. Three lengths back to Knight at the proms. The fourth position to Just Vogue and further back Bell Rose. Tote favourite was the winner, Diamond in the Sky for Alison Wright and Raymond Kudag. And further back is Y Rio. The tail was really stiff in the air and strode out like elastic like stride and really won effortlessly diamond in the sky. Further back is Stylus. Don't favorite the winner number two at 340. We'll take a look at that head on shortly. Extreme right hand side, diamond in the sky. Still under the hands, Fortissimus was given a good warm up on the way to the gate, but yes, diamond in the sky really exploding into action and comes on to win well at 340, the toad favorite. A number of horses obviously green and will come on with the outing, including one Bell Rose, who's gonna prefer more ground until the third race back to the studio. Read by the Rathmore Stud, by the McCardys for Mr. Kudak, who's on course to lead in. Diamond in the Sky, lovely daughter of Var. Never easy when they come out first time, especially around the turn, but she looks like she's got a bit of quality about her. Yeah, Sheldon, like I said, I thought she would be green. You know, at home she looks around, but on, on the track she just is a workman type horse, you know. We haven't uh, pushed her um, to, to run yet. In fact, I was only just organizing the change of ownership on the morning of the race. And when Kevin spoke to Anthony, he said, no, we'll run her, you know. We thought she would actually need a bit further. So a big thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Kudak for the support. And there's actually a, a lovely story behind this. Um, Kevin really liked it at the sale, and uh, um, they, he was bidding, and so was Mr. Kudak. And in the end, um, it was knocked down with them both standing next to each other, and they both thought they had bought the horse. So um, Kevin said, no, no, well, you take the, the horse, you know. And a couple of months later, we bumped into Mr. Kudak, and he said, you know, this has been uh, playing on my mind, and I'm going to send you that filly to train. So a big thank you to him. And uh, well done to Tammy Dawson, you know, this has been her filly from day one and she's done a lot of work and uh, put a lot of confidence into everybody that this, this was her pick. So well done to her and all the team at home. Thanks to Brandon for picking up the ride and I'm sorry that and, um, you know, has uh, issues with his ribs and stuff. And uh, yeah, just a big thanks to the team and again, thanks to our um, sponsors, Hollywood. Your fellow in the next, he looks to be the horse they got to beat. Yeah, Dees, I think it's hard, you know, it's always hard for these younger horses to take on the older, tougher horses. Um, this is a prep run for little features coming up. He's well, and yeah, I'm sure he'll give a good account of himself. And uh, just a big well done to Rathmore Stadu Bredu. Congratulations. Thanks. Let's get Brandon, who's picked up the ride, and those silks coming to the party today. Take us out the gate. How did things map out for you? Very good, Sheldon. She got a smart break, and I went forward for a positive, but she didn't quite have the speed. 
So we just settled off the pace, about I had three horses in front of me to the front horse and you know, she was doing it comfortably, not too green, just you know, idling underneath me. And uh, I knew she was going to give me a good kick in the straight. She felt like you know, she was always forward going, she knew what she was doing. Anton, coming to the 300, he looked to pinch a break, but within two or three strides you were on top. Yeah, I must say she, she showed a good turn of foot in the straight. Um, you know, albeit that she was travelling so well in behind them. For his first time out to, to quicken like that, it's quite impressive. Well done to Alison and Kev and well done to Mr. Kudak. Very nice to ride a winner in his colours and uh, just while I'm on here, I'd like to congratulate my sponsors, uh, Sean and, and Stefan and his wife. Congratulations on their baby girl. Thanks for that, Brandon. Thank you. Let's get Mr. Kudak into the picture, coming down to the course. You enjoy your racing, very enthusiastic, and it's nice when these stories work out in the long run. It's wonderful. There's a big story behind the source, as, as Alistair explained to you. And, uh, you know, my conscience pricked me. And I said, no, I don't want to make, make bad luck for myself. But I've got to thank Anthony Del Pesh. I'm sorry he had to stand down. He had a lot of faith in his feelings. He's done a lot of work with her. And well done to him and to the rights. Enjoy the moment. Thank you very much. Well done to all concerned. Number two, Diamond in the Sky, sparkling performance. Keep an eye on number three, Fortissimus. Moved up at the top of the lane and just found one better on the afternoon.